You are listening to WBGUFM on 88.1 and HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. WBGUFM is brought to you by Aardvark Screen Printing and Embroidery. Want to print a funny family quote on a mug or get some matching t-shirts for a family reunion? Aardvark Screen Printing and Embroidery can help. A veteran-owned family business serving the community for more than 25 years. Located at 123 South Main Street, Bowling Green, Ohio, and always open at aardvarkspe.com. p.m. on this Thursday evening, March 26th. Yes, March 26th, 2018. You are now tuned into Mix Mix here with me, your host, DJ Mick. And the show for you tonight has a theme of flowers and earth because spring actually feels like it's actually here. So to celebrate that, that's what the theme is going to be tonight. So the way I did that is, like how I do a lot of themes, I just searched for the word flower in my gigantic iTunes library and uh, picked some songs out that way and then typed in earth and found some songs that way. And I promise you that once summer hits, I will be, uh, I'll be able to have to spend more time curating the playlists, like going through my CDs, looking for the word flower and earth, but I mean, that, that kind of takes time. I have a lot of CDs and it's not the same as, you know, as searching digitally. You actually have to use your eyes and things like that. So I will be doing that more often in the summer. Um, and also records. I'll be playing more vinyl for sure. Um, I will be probably most likely doing both a mix mix like music show regular and also my Sherlock summer shows. Um, because I'll have time and the summer uh, schedule is usually empty, um, pretty empty, because many of the students leave for home and whatnot. But I'm staying here. I'm graduating, but I'm staying here for at least th- about three months. So anyway, that's the sitch right now. Um, my show, I may try and switch my show time also because Thursday nights are the Howard's open mic. And I've been wanting to try that for a while, and this summer I'll actually have time. So I think I may uh, try and do that. And then Wednesday night is the Stones Throw open mic, and Friday night is the Two Foxes open mic, which I've just recently been hearing about, and I kind of want to check that out too. So my shows may be Monday and Tuesday, possibly a weekend, possibly a weekend. I've never had a weekend show. Um, the whole, the whole three and a half years I've been doing this, I haven't, or a little over three years, I guess. I've never had a weekend show. So that may be a thing. But for now, we're going to start with our Flowers and Earth playlist. And I burned an MP3 CD again. And last time, if you remember, a couple of the songs were being little pieces of crap. And weren't playing. But we're not going to have that problem <laughs> this uh, this show, are we? Here is Flower Kingdom by Jan Grack. I don't really know how else to pronounce that here on Mix Mix on WBGU-FM. <laughs> Oh, 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 
Marco, hope rest was peaceful, and thank you for tuning into this uh, blessed radio station here. Hey, life's hard sometimes. You know what helps? Music. That's why I've got my radio show, Positively Jammin'. You can listen in every Friday, 12 to 2, and Positively Jam Out with me, DJ Lauren. You can listen in to some good vibes, indie rock, and alternative music. See you then. From your first sunrise to the sunset of life, we are with you through life's journey. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. Visit socialsecurity.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense.
This is WBGU-FM 88.1 and HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. Community sponsorship for WBGU programming is brought to you by Grounds for Thought, a local coffee shop offering vintage books, vinyl, comics, and a selection of home-baked goods. Grounds for Thought, located at 174 South Main Street, Bowling Green, Ohio. Accurate sound clip from my brain as I woke up this morning. I slept in a lot because I could, and it felt great. And it sounded like this. Just imagine me toddling around my house, drunk off of the great sleep I had that past night. Can't, couldn't even believe it. I felt refreshed. My, my eyeballs had a new glaze of brightness to them. It was, it was pretty good. It was a good morning. <clears throat> and hey, the night is going pretty well too. We're playing songs that have the word flower in them in celebration of spring. So we played quite a few songs uh, because I didn't uh, take a backlog break because we only had played two songs. So I was just going to wait till this time to do that. So we heard Flower Kingdom by Yon Grack. And that, I believe, was from South Korea? Possibly. Did I ever tell you about the time where I was at Girl Scout camp? And there was um, somebody from Korea there. And I was like, oh, which one? North Korea? And it was at the time where I guess, like, that was a thing, like it is now. And they, they looked at me like, no, <laughs> South. And I was like, okay, what? Like, I follow the news at 13 years old. No. Anyway, after that, we heard Crush the Flowers by The Wake from uh, The Testament, The Best Of, that was released in 2014. And then you heard uh, Western Wallflower by Ruby Haunt, and that was a current, an indie current. Then you heard a, an old recurrent called Flowers by the band Tape Runs Out. Then you heard another old, old recurrent, uh, Liquid Metal Flower Petal by Spitz Lang, which I think is a very cool, <laughs> very cool band name, or artist, I think it's just one person. And then what you just got finished listening to was Dissolution by Delicate Flowers. It's time for some events. There are three all tomorrow evening, and I'm going to give you all of them, all of these three choices, and I'll let you decide. So let's go in order of when they start. So first, there's an improv comedy show hosted by the Plastic Shatner's Improv. It's called We're Happy and Confused at the Same Time. And it starts at 7 p.m. and it's in 231 uh, Bowen Thompson Student Union. So the theater in there. Um, so that is happening. It's the season finale of their improv season. Um, so come have some last laughs with us before finals kill us all. <laughs> we'll be doing some raffles to get rid of the merch we have. So be ready for that. And it's free. It's a free show. So there you go. Um, tomorrow, 7 p.m. And then also tomorrow. At 8 p.m. is the Roots Music Club album release show. This is the first year that I haven't 
really been a part of the Roots Music Club and I haven't been on the album. And it's also the first year that they're doing um, little download cards instead of actual CDs. Um, so their their show, <clears throat> release show is tomorrow at 8 p.m. And it's held at Grounds for Thought, like it usually is. Uh, the show is free. We will be performing original songs from our new album, which you can pre-order for five bucks at the event. Woo! So that's pretty fun if you want to hear what the Roots Music Club has been up to. If you want something a little more wild and crazy, um, there's a... Oh, wait. Oh, this isn't a house show. Wait, never mind. I'm not going to read this. I thought it was like a house show. It's just a house party. Well, that's no... No. All right. Oh, let me try and find something else. I want to give you guys three options. Okay, so here's a band that is playing at the Ottawa Tavern tomorrow evening at 9 p.m. The Lonely Friends with Waving and Waving Goodbye. Is that one band? It's just Waving and Waving Goodbye? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. And also Team and Aid, which is a, uh, like a student group um, here. It was started here of members of the Roots Music Club, actually. And then Lucian Towns. So those people are playing tomorrow uh, night at 9 p.m. at the Ottawa Tavern. So let's see what the weather is looking like. Today was great. I had a grand time today. So let's see if I will continue to have a grand time in the coming days. So it looks like tonight for the low, 42 degrees. Tomorrow, Friday the 27th. High of 63, low of 40. Okay, I'm down for that. Saturday, cloudy. High of 51, low of 31. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not as down for that, but it's fine. I will take it. All right, we're going to continue on with our flower-themed show. We'll get to the Earth songs, I think, probably past the second hour of this show. So... We're going to hear from Stereo Lab now. This song is called Flower Called Nowhere here on Mix Mix on WBGU FM.
Have you ever found yourself so bored that you end up doing this? Yeah, we have to. 88.1 WBGU. Throughout history, there have been many songs written about the eternal triangle. This next one tells the story of the folk era, the new hungry eye, and a condemned man named Britt Ruart. Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m., Britt Ruart must hang. And you can hang with Britt Ruart every Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. at the New Hungry Eye, where you'll hear the best music from the folk era and beyond with artists such as Pete Seeger, Woody Guthrie, Arlo Guthrie, Josh White, Josh White Jr., Bob Dylan, Joan Baez, the Chad Mitchell Trio, the Smothers Brothers, John Stewart, the Kingston Trio, and so many others. The show airs Fridays from 2 to 4 p.m. with the Ramblin' Boy Britt Ruart. We'll see you there, and folk on. I'm trying to remember if this is the background music that I said that I was, I, I felt like I was sneaking around somewhere. It might be, <clears throat> might be a different one. This album called Tom First Digs uh, has a lot of great instrumental stuff. <laughs> you couldn't tell because I use it every week. Let's do some backlogging here. We're singing, 
we are not singing. We are listening to other people sing songs that have the word flower in either the title, the artist name, the album name, whatever. So we heard Flower Called Nowhere by Stereolab from their 1997 album Dots and Loops. And then you just got finished listening to Cartwheels by Memory Flowers. And that was a, I think that's a recurrent by now. I think. So, um, I realized that I hadn't really done the BG News reading thing in a while um, since, um, oh, I did that because of the, um, the crisis that we had where we couldn't play our own stuff and so I was, uh, you know, just had to play stuff from that WGU it had and things like that. So, I wanted to just do a little bit because I don't want to, um, you know, make my playlist, maybe have to cut songs from my playlist, but... I'll just read some things. <coughs> so, there's something about the um, the counseling set. Oh, this is from uh, April 26, 1955. So, golly gee. I don't know how long ago that was, but many years. And there's something about the, uh, the counseling center. Um, it's like rules about it. So, maybe that had just like started up or something around there. Um, and then there's an ad right next to it, giant ad for uh, Chesterfield cigarettes. And it's um, a man and a woman. And the, the woman is holding a cigarette in her fingertips and looking up at the guy. He's got one hanging out of his mouth. And it says, put a smile in your smoking by Chesterfield today. Largest selling cigarette in America's colleges. Well, golly. <laughs> Well, that's good. Let's see. You'll smile your approval of Chesterfield's smoothness, mildness, refreshing taste. You'll smile your approval of Chesterfield's quality, highest quality, low nicotine. Interessante. All right, let's get back to the music. I'll try and find a couple little more fun things like that. But for now, we're going to hear the song Easier Said. This is by Sunflower. Bean. This is also a recurrent from the station here on Mix Mix on WBGU FM.
of flies And the children all in white Have gathered here tonight Let the dance of love begin Let the temple maiden sing A song that's sung in time To a gong and bell Hi, this is Justin Hemminger, class of 2001. You're listening to WBGU-FM 88.1 and HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. Community sponsorship for WBGU programming is brought to you by Grounds for Thought, a local coffee shop offering vintage books, vinyl, comics, and a selection of home-baked goods. Grounds for Thought, located at 174 South Main Street, Bowling Green, Ohio. Welcome to the top of the hour, folks. It's nine o'clock on the dot, and you're listening to Mix Mix. Here with me, your host, DJ Mick, on WBGFM. So the theme for tonight's show is flowers and earth. Because of spring, spring is here. And also bugs. There are two songs that uh, are with bug, and so we'll be playing those later. But we still have quite a few of the flower songs to get through, but what have we listened to so far? We heard Easier Said by Sunflower Bean from their album Human Ceremony from 2016. We heard Flowers by the band Dead Parties from their album All Our Times. And then you just got finished listening to a song by The Nice, Flower King of Flies from The Thoughts of Emerlist Dave Jack. What an album name, am I right? All right. So, <laughs> we're going to continue on. I found a couple fun things in BG News stuff. I'll, I'll save it for the next break. So, we're going to hear Nothing But Flowers. Now, by the Talking Heads, here on Mix Mix on WBGFM.
is Mac DeMarco. Isn't college radio just the best, man? College radio provides a voice for the voiceless. Let us give you that voice. WBGU, a Falcon Media Station, has always been committed to featuring local and independent artists. Music submissions can be mailed to us at any time or sent online at 881WBGUFM at gmail.com. More information can be found at facebook.com slash WBGUFM. Welcome back to The Cat Show. Up next, we have Nico. Nico is a member of the Shelter Pet Group. That's right, a group known especially for their sunspot sleeping, ball chasing, leg rubbing, and of course, companionship. Just look how she struts. It's like she owns the place. And see how she curls up and cuddles her person. The pitch on her purring is simply perfect. Nice one. Fantastic cat. But really the best way to know an amazing shelter pet like Nico is to meet one. Visit the shelterpetproject.org today. Adopt. Brought to you by Maddie's Fund, the Humane Society of the United States, and the Ad Council. This is definitely the sneaking around song. <laughs> okay, so we're playing songs that have the word flower somewhere in them, and we have heard nothing but flowers by Talking Heads. You heard Your Own Sounds by Drinking Flowers. Then you uh, just got finished listening to Drug Tax by the band Fruit and Flowers. All right, so I did, I found some interesting things um, in BG News. So this is from April 26 today, back in 1996, the year I was born. So I would have been about four months, four or five months old at this point. So um, there's quite a lot of death in this BG News. So local koala diagnosed with cancer. That's one of the main headlines. Um, Matilda the koala at the Toledo Zoo, uh, unfortunately, had cancer. Um, what else was there? Investigators discover two bodies amid burnt rubble. Um, wom- uh, witness testifies in woman's favor. This woman was accused of killing her four children in a fire that she set to her house, but apparently she did not set that fire, according to this witness. There was more. One inmate killed in a cell takeover at Ohio Juvenile Prison. Man charged with involuntary manslaughter in boating accident. Paralyzed student sues. This 21-year-old jumped headfirst into a a pool of mud as part of a fraternity hazing thing and was suing and paralyzed from the neck down. Kansas farmers face wheat perils. This whole newspaper is just full of sad things. <laughs> oh, and there there was a Kroger ad, and it says the Kroger advertisement appearing in Thursday's BG News was incorrect. The correct ad for this week is on page 7 today, so even even Kroger couldn't catch a break in this, in this, <laughs> in this uh, BG News thing. Golly gee. All right, there were some other things. I'll save it for later. All right, let's continue on with the flower uh, music. We've still got a couple of those songs left before we get into some bugs. So, the, um, mm, yes. All right, so we're getting more into, like, the less, you know, light, indie, soft, shoegazy type stuff. More into a bit heavier, a bit heavier. So, we'll play three songs, and then we'll do weather and events. This is... Flowers D G I H by U Men U Dash Men here on WBGU FM Mix Mix. Enjoy.
Love is 
AC the Entity checking in, letting you know you're tuned in to WBGUFM 88.1 and HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio. Make sure you're playing this loud. For some people, difficult transitions like retirement, divorce, or loss of a loved one may contribute to feelings of hopelessness or even thoughts of suicide. The risk of suicide is even higher for men over 50 who served our country guys like me. Support from friends and family makes such a big difference. Every day, your actions could help save a life. Learn how you can help at VeteransCrisisLine.net. If you have a taxophobia or a fear of disorder, you might like the very neat and tidy Odds and Ends show with DJ K2. Each week, a guiding theme links two hours of tunes together, providing a fun backdrop for cleaning, organizing, or making your own mixtape compilation for a friend. Songs you love, or at least will by the end of the show, Odds and Ends, Monday evenings from 6 to 8 p.m. on WBGU, 88.1 on the FM dial, or online at WBGUFM.com. Alrighty, it's 9.31 p.m. on this Thursday evening, April 26th of 2018. And we're playing songs with the word flower in them. And we'll get to bug, maybe, and earth, possibly. And I'm just realizing we only have about half an hour left. I don't think I'll finish my whole playlist. I'll pick the best ones for you. But anyway, we have listened to flowers... D-G-I-H by the band You Men. That song was from 1984. They came out with a new one just this past year. Then you heard uh, Flowers of Evil by Cortex. That was from the Tribute to Flexi Pop album uh, number 8, of which there are many. And I have them all. Then you heard, just got finished listening to Kenny and Cleo. That was by Black Market Flowers from 1993. You can tell. All right. What's the weather looking like? Tonight, low of 42 degrees. Tomorrow, partly cloudy. High of 64. Low of 40. And then Saturday, high of 51. Low of 31. And cloudy. So not too nice on Saturday, but okay. And there are three things that are going on around here all tomorrow evening. The first starts at 7 p.m. tomorrow. It's a free improv comedy show by the Plastic Shatners. It's called We're Happy and Confused at the Same Time. It's free, starts at 7 p.m., and is in the theater of the uh, Student Union. So there you go. Next, also that night at 8 o'clock, is the Roots Music Club album release show. Woo! So that is happening at Grounds for Thought. The bands and artists and groups who played on that album uh, will we'll play the songs that they recorded for you for free again. And then also at 9 p.m. on Friday night, there are the bands The Lonely Friends, Waving and Waving Goodbye, Teamonade, and Lucian Towns. And it's a $5 cover, $8 for under 21. That's at the Ottawa Tavern tomorrow at 9. So there you go. Let's get back into the music. So I wanted, I really wanted to make sure that I had a break before playing this song so I could explain it. This song is called Toast Fire. Um, and it's by Happy Flowers. So that's why I'm playing it. Because it has the word flowers in the band name. But also just because... <laughs> I like to play the song whenever I can because there aren't that many opportunities for me to play it. I played it once on this show before. I know I have. I found this song uh, while working down in the archives, music archive library in the Jerome Library here on campus. Um, the 45 of this song, I, I uh, cataloged it. And so thank goodness it was up on YouTube. It has like 27 views. So it's very, uh, very low key old song. And I hope you enjoy it here on Mix Mix on WBGU FM. Thank you. 
Hi, this is OCS's John Dwyer and Bridget Dawson, and, and you're, you're listening, listening to WBGU Bowling Green. Every year, tens of thousands of youth experience homelessness. I didn't know how they were going to react. I just told my mom that I was gay. One in four LGBT youth who come out to their parents is told to leave home. She wanted to go and talk to my dad about this. He started reproaching me, telling me that he didn't raise someone gay. I started going to my grandma's house to sleep over. She kicked me out to... Runaway and homeless youth are often victims of commercial sexual exploitation. I was in the drugs and prostitution for five years. 1-800-RUNAWAY provides 24-hour access to a nationwide network of housing and support services for homeless and runaway youth. I just felt so rejected. I felt like a failure. If you or someone you know needs help, 1-800-RUNAWAY can provide support and connect you to the right resources. You can also text 66008 or go to 1-800-RUNAWAY.org. We can end youth homelessness. Artist interviews, upcoming shows, local favorites, and new and indie alternative music. And Maddie's bad jokes. Discover them with us. Indie Scovered with Maddie. And Matt. Every Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. on 88.1 WBGU-FM. Show updates can be found on Facebook.com slash IndieScoveredBG. I only shoot down like 75% of your bad ideas. 75%. Yeah, 25% of the time you convince me. It's 948 here on Mix Mix, and we have heard some songs. We heard The Lovely Toast Fire by the band Happy Flowers from their album My Skin Covers My Body. That was from 1987. That was released off of Homestead Records, and it was very interesting. And then you heard... uh, Carmageddon by Helalen Flowers, which is a strange name, but they're from Germany, I think. And then right after that, you heard Bug by Renata Zeiger. Zeiger. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but that's it. Um, And I think I'm going to read a bit of this BG newspaper. And I'll play one more bug song. We only had two bug songs. So it was all flowers and then two bugs. And then I have another flower to finish this out. But I didn't, since we didn't even start the earth songs, I'm going to save those for another, another episode. Cause I wouldn't want to get through like two of those and then have a bunch left over, you know? So, and we only have about 10 minutes left. So without further ado, let's. I don't know if I should read it and then play the songs. I'll do that. We'll let the um, background music go in the background. All right. So this is from March twenty or April. Sorry, April twenty fourth. So a couple days ago. Again, this is from nineteen ninety six. So it's on page two, and it says "Reflections of a White Columnist," and it's by Matt Pierce. And we're going to listen to it. Restraining myself from writing a diatribe against Beta 500, which I don't know what that is, was one of the hardest things I had to do this week. I kept my pen in check, primarily due to my fear of an angry six foot seven guy named Chandler or Lance knocking on my door. I suppose being a columnist means knowing when to pick your fights. In this, my rookie semester as a BG News columnist... I don't even get a mugshot. I have endeavored to be at least a serviceable writer in representing the students of BGSU with my opinions every Wednesday. The ideas I write are none too radical, neither is BG, which is probably a good thing. At 8 in the morning, very few brave souls want to read beliefs which are unpalatable and potentially offensive to them. That's why such past Matt Pierce statements as, you know, communism could actually work, have not been expanded upon in newsprint. Being a columnist means considering your audience. 
This consideration also means shaping the subject matter to make it relevant to the typical student. Solidarity leader Lech Walenza, returning to his old mill job in Poland, may be extremely column worthy and utterly fascinating, but it does not possess the same immediacy that topics such as AIDS and racism do. It is unfortunate that most of us, with the possible exception of poli sci majors, are too busy with the daily grind starring Eric to follow world events and politics as closely as we would like to. At the time in our lives when we are the most intellectually active, few of us exercise our intellects on changing the world around us. This college often, too, seems to exist in a vacuum. Getting sucked in by the hoover of day-to-day -day existence is dangerous, particularly for calmness. It is our responsibility to stay informed and communicate with our readers our perceptions of the issues facing us. But when there's a paper due and three chapters to read, the socioeconomic implications of mad cow disease do not come readily to mind. I really don't know how we columnists survive. I have three fatty extracurriculars. I didn't expect that as an adjective. Uh, Rourke directs wonderful theater. Pfeiffer runs WFAL. Gaffney, well, Gaffney must be doing something. Being a columnist means being a self-righteous martyr type. Something does disturb me about the four martyrs listed in the last paragraphs. Take a look at us, except for me, since I have no picture, and you'll notice that we are all white males. That's fine. After all, we are the ones who filled out the applications for the job and put the hours in, but do we truly represent? I honestly don't think so. The other columnists and I attempt to incorporate the voices of the black, Asian, Latino, gay, and various other communities into our columns, but it is, it is impossible for us to accurately relay what someone of a given culture is experiencing at this school and this nation. Sometime in the next couple weeks, applications for Fall 96 BG News positions will become available. I strongly encourage anyone with a fresh viewpoint, what else can us Anglo guys have to say, to apply and to make this newspaper a more accurate reflection of BGSU. Being a columnist means pointing out problems and talking about them. And that was the end of his little column there. I just thought that was kind of, kind of uh, interesting there. And then there's a funny little graphic right below this. <laughs> and I'll just kind of describe it to you. So it's a person, a, a student laying back in their seat at a desk, papers strewn all over the place. A uh, diagram of a burnt out student is a... Uh, <laughs> is what it says so in the corner in the back there's a sofa with a with somebody lying on it and a little arrow says dead roommate she just wouldn't shut up there's a textbook underneath the table it says textbooks used to bounce out desk uh, and then on the desk is carved a name tiffany name carved into desk for future generations to remember the legacy and then on the po on the um, table there's a bunch of papers it says every possible gpa combination for the next three years and then the person who's leaning back in the desk says, narcoleptic symptoms, drool. And then there's a boombox in the background and it says, please stairway to heaven on repeat because its message is universal. And then in the corner, there's a little guy popped up and he says, remember, an F is failing, a D is passing, only with some shame, but it's still passing. I thought that was, that was kind of cute. Um... Okay, and then I'm sorry, but I have to mention right below that, there's a headline that says, Watch out for dough biscuits. <laughs> Watch out for dough biscuits. I'm, oh uh, boy, I wish I had time to read this. Maybe I'll save this for another time. I'll remember this. April 24th, 1996. Watch out for dough biscuits. And with that, I think I'm going to leave you with one more bug song. This song is called Bugs by the band Rap Boys. Listen in next week, finals week. I'll be here Thursday 8 to 10. And then after that, I will let you know. Hope you had a good time with this flowers and a little bit of bugs themed episode of Mix Mix. Stay tuned. Bye bye
The song's actually called Corners of the Earth by Odessa. I made a mistake and I'm not going to correct it. Bye. From the campus of Bowling Green State University, broadcasted from the Michael and Sarah Colleen Center, you're listening to WBGU-FM on 88.1 in HD1, Bowling Green, Ohio.